So over the course of this channel, I have made a wide variety of desk setup videos. And the very first video I made for this channel was actually a desk setup video. Now, in the time that has passed since I created that video, my desk setup has changed drastically, as I'm sure many of you can tell. And I'm really proud of the product it's become, as I feel it's very unique to me, and it works amazingly for the tasks I have. So I thought it would warrant me making an updated desk video for late 2021. Starting with the desktop itself, as I'm sure that's the thing that has caught the majority of y'all's attention, it's actually a uh, countertop from Lowe's that we got for like $90, and it is by far one of my best investments so far. And I have to give credit to my dad for that one, as at first I was very skeptical about it, but he really pushed for me to go ahead and spend the money on it, and I'm really happy I did, as the alternative was getting an oak desk from Ikea, or it was a countertop rather, and that would have cost $170, nearly double the cost of this, and I think this looks way better and way more unique. And the frame holding up the countertop is the Tech Orbit's electric standing desk, the standing desk that is the cheapest on Amazon. And the cool thing about this frame is that it can actually expand for different desktops, and we actually expanded it to the widest width it can go, as this desktop is enormous, as I'm sure many of you can tell. And it still does go up and down. It is obviously straining quite a bit, but I'm really happy with it for it literally being the cheapest standing desk we could find. And then the centerpiece of the entire setup, the two LG Ergo Ultrafine 32 inch monitors are absolutely amazing. I could go on for days about these monitors and I have made videos, probably an hour's worth of video on these monitors. So I'm not gonna go into a ton of depth as I'm sure many of my returning viewers have already seen so much about them, but to shorten everything up, they're both 4K Ultra HD and they are absolutely amazing for anything from casually watching YouTube to intense 4K timelines on DaVinci Resolve. And the stand that they come with is one of my favorite pieces as it allows me to have a setup like this or have a setup in my dorm where it can double as a monitor or a TV by pulling it closer to my bed. And besides the speakers, I have the Logitech Z623, a really old but really amazing speaker system that I absolutely love for anything from watching YouTube to, again, editing an intense timeline. I especially like the two separate satellite speakers as sometimes my audio for my videos will get messed up and only come out the left ear. And that's something that's very easy to miss if you don't have a high quality speaker system as if you only have one speaker, you won't really be able to tell it's only coming out of one side. But with the two satellite speakers, it is very obvious as literally I'm only hearing it from my left ear. And the subwoofer is also really amazing and it does shake my entire room if I turn the volume up, which is for better or worse. And at the center of the entire setup, I have the M1 Mac Mini powering everything. It's the highest end version you can get without the maxed out storage. And I really have been enjoying it. And it's done an amazing job at powering the 8,000 pixels I use on a daily basis to edit my videos. However, those of you who are technologically inclined may have noticed that I have both monitors connected to the one M1 Mac Mini, which isn't supposed to be possible as the M1 chip does not support two monitors at once. And to achieve this dual monitor support, I'm using the 4U PC USB-C hub that has a way around the M1's chip inability to support the two monitors. And I could go and make an entirely separate video on the use of this product as at the end of the day, I do really like it, but it can be very frustrating to set up and just frustrating in general at certain times. But once again, I do like and recommend the product if you're in a similar situation to me where you really do need two monitors to achieve your day-to-day -day life and the M1 chip provides the power that you're looking for for a good price in the case of the M1 Mac Mini. Onto my peripherals, I have the Logitech MX Master 3 I'm going to make an updated video on as I have encountered some things that I do not like about it, but overall it is hands down the best mouse I've used so far. So I don't wanna take anything away from it, just some things that I haven't seen other YouTubers talking about, so I think would be worthwhile for me to talk about. And then the keyboard is the same exact keyboard I've been using from the beginning of this desk setup. Apple's Magic Keyboard with a numeric number pad that's a tongue twister that is absolutely amazing and obviously stands the test of time as I've been using it for so long and I have actually spilt soda or some kind of liquid in it and my dad and I just kind of flipped it over and let it dry and it still works good as new and then above the whole desk setup itself I have three pictures that in my opinion add a bit of personality to the desk setup just three musicians that I really really like and I thought that the black and white mugshot could look really cool and add a piece of personality to my desk setup. And then I have Ikea's 
uh, ambient lighting system above it, which is really nice. The only thing I don't like about it is the wire, but I'm gonna thread that through the wall in the very near future. I just haven't gotten a chance to do it yet. And the chair is a chair that I got from Best Buy for $100 and is probably doing horrific things to my back. And that is something I plan on upgrading in the very near future. I just haven't been able to financially justify it yet, but it is something that's going to happen. So that is everything I have on my desk setup. And it's been really cool to watch the whole setup evolve over time. As I remember vividly a year ago, just being so excited at the thought of having one decent 4K monitor and a standing desk, whereas now the desk setup has evolved so far. And I would love to hear what you guys think of this desk setup and how I could improve it or anything you might do to it. Thank you so much for watching and please do consider subscribing as a very small percentage of the people who watch my videos are subscribed and any and all support really does help.